Support for this and all the free content of Addressing Gettysburg is made possible by our patrons over at patreon.com slash addressing Gettysburg. You are listening to Addressing Gettysburg. This is the wayside marker behind Fry's battery and slightly to the east of the Peace Light Memorial. Or as it's called, actually, um, Eternal Light Peace Memorial. That's the title of The Wayside. And here we go with a quote from Franklin D. Roosevelt, President, Memorial Dedication, July 3rd, 1938. Lincoln was commander in chief in this old battle. He wanted above all things to be commander in chief of the new peace. Veterans of the Union and Confederate armies from across the nation converged on Gettysburg in 1938, 75 years after the battle, for their last great reunion. All Civil War veterans were invited with expenses paid and nearly 2,000 attended. The majority were in their 90s and many were over 100. On the warm evening... On the warm evening of Sunday, July 3rd, they gathered here with others to dedicate a monument to peace and national unity. President Franklin D. Roosevelt delivered the dedication speech to a crowd estimated at 200,000. The monument, designed by Paul Philippe Cret, is built of Alabama limestone and Maine granite topped by a natural gas torch to be lit eternally to symbolize the unity of the United States. And there are a few pictures here with the captions um, that I encourage you to come and see for yourself when you come here. Um, I could read them to you, but I think it, it does more for you to actually look at the picture and read them as well. There is a timeline here entitled Landmark Years, so I'll read that to you. 1909, Peace Memorial first proposed by Pennsylvania Commission planning Gettysburg's 50th anniversary. 1935, new commission preparing for the 75th anniversary begins planning a peace memorial. 1936, Virginia becomes the first state to appropriate funds for the memorial. 1938, memorial dedicated on the 75th anniversary of the Battle of Gettysburg. 1988, memorial rededicated on the 125th anniversary. <laughs> 